All right, let's continue on. So basically, let's take a look at the layout. And now I think... Wow, that fleet is still scaring me. He's just sitting down there parked. But we'll have to worry about him later. Let's take a look at Sicily real quick. And do we want to take a run at the Pope? I don't know. I said I don't like to do that, but... Well, he's neutral. However, I don't know how many other nations would turn against me for that. Probably quite a few. Let's go ahead and send a scouting ship down here. And let's just see what's what's located down here. We might try to acquire some provinces, provinces down there. Now, Spain is still out there as well. So we'll see, see what can be done about that. I think I'm going to go ahead and build... What are we doing on cash here? Real good. Okay, what are the construction costs? Okay, let's go ahead and build a reliquary. And then let's take a look over here. Let's build a church. No, we already have a church. What am I doing here? Um, these are really important to have later on. Keeps the morale up. Let's also build a royal court here because I want to be able to get some horses. I think that leads to, yeah, we can build some horse horse units, which is important because we have to resupply. We have to build this type of horse right here because we got to resupply our general because he's going to get hurt. Well, I mean, it depends on how many battles he gets into. All right, the church is done in Sicily. That's good. And that should have boosted the morale, and it did. All right, so let's see what's down here. Ah, look at that. Look at that. This is a very strange movement in terms of how we're uh, expanding here. We're kind of going in this direction like a circle. But this is all in an effort to avoid the French. But let's see... I don't know what's going to happen if I let's let's take them off Malta and see what the see how that just dropped the loyalty. Yeah, we better hold off on that. But let's try and build a couple of urban militia. So we'll wait a few rounds, but I think we're going to take a run at Tunisia. That is that's going to be a nice province to have. I think that's a big money maker. Yes, it is. Look, it's making 344 and it doesn't even have any farmlands built. So I think we'll go ahead and do that. All right, let's go ahead and get those units in Sicily made. We have a high level of technology. All right, well, that's good. Only three in loyalty, but that's okay. Maybe we'll marry him off. Do we have any princesses? We don't. Okay. Well, we have one that's going to come of age pretty soon. Let's actually get another one. And then maybe... Maybe we can move our forces off of Malta. We'll see. That's a four-star general down there, though. So we may need... Actually, I'm changing my mind. We might actually have to send. Because as I said, we always we got it's not just conquering, you gotta hold it too. The King of France has died. Good. Okay, so that guy has a little bit better loyalty. What do we got here? Okay, let's do this. Let's let's send our urban militia to Malta and let's send this army back to Sicily. And we're at 106 now. That's fine. We'll just leave them there. Eventually the loyalty will increase. And then let's build a few more units here. Bulk up our army a little bit more before we invade Tunisia. And then we'll have to see if the Egyptians... I don't know if I'm at war with the Egyptians. I know I attacked their fleet earlier. To look and see. It's always good to remember who you're at war with. I forget to look half the time. 
Let's see. We're at war with Spain. Okay, that's good. No longer at war with Egypt. Are they even around anymore? I don't remember. They were taken out. Alive today, dead tomorrow. That's the way this game works. Okay, we got our fort built. Let's bulk up the taxes a little bit. Bump them up. Let's go ahead and get a keep going on there. And let's see... So the royal court was completed. So there we can build the, with the royal knights. So we can... Well, we don't have to do it now, but if this guy needs to be resupplied with horses, we can go ahead and do that. You want to keep at least one of those. That's, that's important. All right, let's go ahead and let's see how these islands are doing here real quick. Anything to build on here? No. Nothing on here. They're just making money. That's good. That's what we want. 146, 153. Okay, that's good enough. Yeah, you know what? Well, no. I want to get a monastery on there, but you need that, the next tier upgrade. We need a, a castle. But that's okay. We'll, we'll go ahead and do that later. Save a little bit of money here. I think the next goal is to get it at 25,000. We'll have, that, that'll be our baseline. All right, now I think we're going to go ahead and invade Tunisia. Tunisia is next up. All right, good. Okay. Let's go ahead and invade. And I think we're going to build... Are we still at war with... No, we're not with Sicily anymore. So we'll just... We'll play nice for a while. This is a concern. This... Gosh, they just got huge fleets. Look at this. I've got to, I've got to maintain... You know what I think we're going to do? We're going to send this four-star general along with another boat here. And we're going to keep... What do we got here? Two star. Okay, let's let's give him some more boats. I don't like the way I don't like how big these fleets are for France. I mean, they could just literally wipe us off the planet in a second. And we definitely don't want that. Come on, let's go. Can't be that much to think about. Wow, this is taking a while. Oh, maybe they were thinking about this invasion. Who knows? Tunisia is conquered. Execute them all. Get them out of here. All right. Okay, let's see here. Oh, wow. This is not a money-making province, though. I remember this one. This is more of a, I just need to link everything up province, not a money-making province. So we'll hold off taking that for a little bit. Let's go ahead and build this province up. Got some more army units here. Let's send this guy down here. Good, good deal. Boost the taxes a little bit. Can we build ships here? Yes, we can. We're going to build two ships. And then we're going to go ahead and keep this guy moving around. We're going to add two more ships here as well. We're going to get these fleets built all the way up just like they are. So if anything goes down, we'll be prepared to handle it. And trust me, it probably will go down. But we're at least going to make them think about it a little bit before they do launch an attack. 
won't be a simple attack for them because we've got a pretty sizable fleet going. We're going to start building a lot of ships here. So we'll keep one here, two ships here probably, a little bit larger fleet here. We'll keep five ships. And let's go ahead and move this guy here. And then we're going to send the two-star on his merry way this way. There we go. And because I'm doing that, actually, let's let's cut this down to just two more boats because we can we'll just stick them here because this will I want to keep this one at a minimum of five. That's the plan. All right. Okay. All right. Those are done. Good. Crusade's been declared. What are our costs? Nine hundred and one. That's good. And I'll tell you, I may just launch the first strike on their fleet so we can get the jump on them. But we'll see. All right, there's the four star. So what we're going to do is a little switcheroo here. Let's get this guy down here first. Well, we'll just we'll do it that way. There we go. I think we're still allies with the French, as I remember. I want to make sure. Then I'll get real nervous because if we're at a neutral standing with them, they tend to uh, get more aggressive with you. I would never break a truce. That's actually not true. You kind of have to to win this game eventually. Alrighty. Wow. They have got a just ton of forces down there. That's why we're bringing our four star down. Okay. Two star goes here. This two star is going to make it down to the Straits of Sicily. And meanwhile, we're boosting our revenues. Another prince. Getting those technological messages that we're the best. That's nice. This guy is fully upgraded. All right, let's see here. We've got the two star there. And yeah, look at that. Now we got the four star. This is usually a very busy area. That's why I want to have this fleet maxed out. And we're going to have this one pretty sizable too. There we go. All right, moving along. I think I saw some Spanish units way up here somewhere. Wow. So they might be bigger than I thought. You just don't know how big they are. I could send spies out, but nah, too much micromanagement. Let's build a monastery there. The churches, monasteries, those are all good things to build in this game. You want to keep that morale high. Otherwise, you'll get civil wars, rebellions, all kinds of nasty little things. Oh, look at this. You can boost those taxes all the way up. Good deal. Yeah, we're kind of burning through the treasury a little bit here, but I want to get that fleet up. The all-important fleet. And then I might start heading... Well, we'll have to see where the Egyptians are. But I might head east. Start building that way. I'm definitely going to need a fleet on the other side of uh, Spain over there. That's a, that's a weakness. That's the one big weakness we got right now. Crusade against the Egyptians? Okay. Nah. Inquisition. Whoa. See, I'd like to assassinate that guy. I don't like Inquisition. They cause too much trouble. We probably should start building some assassins here. 
get a few of those guys. They're good to have when you got somebody in your province that's causing too many problems. Of course, they'll root out. Well, they can also cause morale issues, though, I think. So it's never a bad idea to take them out. Let's see. What do we got here? Tracks mercenaries. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this fleet's getting bigger too. And look at this. We probably could actually probably win this now, even though they have so many ships. I mean, we'd we'd suffer some casualties, but we'd we'd put a hurting on them too. I think we can get two more boats in there. I want that one maxed all the way to the top. All right, so I think we're going to keep this guy here. And then we're going to build... Oh, that's good enough. Okay, let's send these two ships here. So that we've got some sort of fleet there. And then... I think we're going to construct a new army. Yes. Yes, indeedy. But I don't know where. Probably here. Once these, once these boats are finished. You know what? Let's cancel these two. And we'll use this province. And then we'll start creating a new army for down south. Redirect him down south. I'm wondering how big Spain is now. Oh gosh, our king died. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Get rid of him. Gone. Gone. Too many support costs. Not worth it. Let's check and see. Oh boy. This is always a threat. And if the king dies and we don't have an heir, it is game over. How old's our king? 22. Okay, he's not going to die for a while. That's good. I'd be worried if he was like 95 or something. But he's not. I want to have the strongest military. Uh-oh. Alamahads came back in a big way. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll start building this army. Alrighty, I think that's a good, a good, this is a good place to take a break. See you in the next video.